Hey, what's going on guys? We're back from razor clamming last night and in my last video uh, for how to clean razor clams, I showed you how to clean a small number of clams. Now in this case, we have way more clams than last time. We ended up getting 45 yesterday, three limits. So we're gonna turn around and I'm gonna show you how to clean those. So to do it, what I've done is I've got some water boiling right here and then I've got a bucket of ice water to stop the co cooking. And how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna simply take a clam all right, I've got one of these razor clams. I'm gonna drop it into the boiling water and then watch what happens. You're gonna watch and all of a sudden, the shell is gonna pop open here in a second. And when that shell pops open, that means that that, that clam is done and it's ready to put it like there. See that right there? Now this clam is done. I'm taking it out of the, out of the boiling water and sticking it into the ice, okay? Now I'm going to show you what happens here in a second. So this clam literally just pop, pops right out. Okay? So I'm going to do this with the rest of the clams really quick so you don't have to watch all that. And then I'm going to show you how to actually get in there and clean all the guts and things that you don't eat off the clam. So let me keep going with this and then I'll show you how to clean it. All right guys, so what I've done is I've dumped the ice bath into the sink and we're ready to start cleaning the clams. But before I get going, if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you stay up to date with all the content from this channel. All right guys, so here we are. We've got the clam. This is what it looks like. You can see how easy it is. They just popped right out of the shell. So we're gonna throw these over there in the other half of the sink. All right, now what we have is we have a clam. It doesn't matter, I'll grab this one. And what I'm gonna do is there's two siphons up here, a larger siphon and a small siphon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up along this, that looks like a zipper, up into that first siphon all the way up to the top. So here we go. Just gonna cut straight up the zipper into the first siphon all the way up, okay? That opens this clam up, okay? Now the second thing we're gonna do is I'm going to open up the second siphon, so this little bit smaller one. So that's gonna go all the way up Okay, and there it is. Now we've got both siphons open. Now what, you, what you're left with is you can see very easily what the guts look like. These are the gills of the clam. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to re start removing anything that's brown out of this clam. Okay, and the easiest way, you can just do it with your fingers. If you want, you can get fancy, get a knife or some scissors, but there's really no need. Uh, because you could just simply do it with your hands and it only takes a few seconds. It's, it just they it just comes right off. So, whoops, get that. Essentially anything that's brown, just removing that. Okay. Now at this point, guys, this is clean. Uh, a lot of people, they uh, like to cut these off. So this is the uh, kind of the end of the, of the siphons. If you want to do that, this is the time to do it. You just take your scissors and cut it across the top. We, we actually end up keeping ours. I just did that for demonstration purposes, but uh, there's nothing wrong with keeping it. All right, that's what the clam looks like clean. So this is uh, one part, and I'm gonna get into cleaning the second part. So the second part is cleaning the foot. Now this is the digging foot. This is what they use to dig with. So I'm just gonna simply cut this off Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that I got all of that brown stuff out of it. So you can see where I cut it and I did this time. So all that brown is inside of this and this foot is edible, it's good to go. So I'm just gonna rinse it and put it into the pot. Okay, now uh, one thing guys I like to do with these, with these uh, guts is I like to save it and use it for crab bait. So what I'll do is I'll freeze it and put it into pantyhose and then I load it inside my crab pot when I go crabbing. All right guys, so if you're not interested in having the crab bait, you can actually clean that section and still eat it. So I'm gonna show you how to clean that real quick. So as all I've done is I've got a, a piece right here. So you can see this is the piece that we cut out. I'm going to take a knife and I'm simply just gonna open it up, kind of filleting it open. All right, and then I'm gonna to start to remove this. Now, in all these clams, you're gonna get this crystalline style, and that's just something that helps with the clam's digestion. So when you find that it's perfectly fine, just toss it off to the side. All right, so I've filleted this open, and that's all I'm gonna do is, like, just like I said before, you're gonna remove anything that's not white off of this clam. 
And once that's done, you, you've got 100% of your clam that's edible. So I'm just going to keep keep kind of uh, working this stuff off. And here in a second, we're going to be done. And that's just another way that you can get after if you want the maximum amount of food uh, possible off of these clams. So I'm going to cut this a little bit more. And I'll just open it up. And again, anything that's, that's not white, I'm going to remove from this. So there's a little bit. All right. That's pretty much it. Just make sure. Put around the edges where the gills were. A little bit right there. All right, guys. That's 100% edible now. And so after 45 clams, this is what we ended up with. Um, so we ended up with this pot right here. That's 45 clams worth right there. And that's all the guts that there is. So just another way to get after doing it. All right, guys. Well, that takes care of this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and let me know what you think. Hey, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Make sure you check out the other content from this channel. Until next time, guys, take care.